So you come downstairs barefoot with your open robe. You just walk behind him. Of course, you're heading for the kitchen. You're just minding your own business. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I put out a video. I was laying back in bed yesterday and I thought, how about I give you guys some scenarios of dates that I would be wearing these specific fragrances and just lay out the scenario for you. And I'm gonna try and be really mature about these um, explanations because some of them are a little bit explicit, but I know that we're all adults here. The first fragrance I'm going to mention is This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. And this fragrance, you know, specifically in a date situation, Okay, I'm picturing an autumn sort of day and you and your partner, so let's say you're married or you've been in a long-term relationship and you're about to go for a walk by the seaside. It's an autumn day, it's slightly windy outside. You're on the left side of the walk, so you've got the breeze coming from the ocean and your man or significant other is on your right. And that breeze is coming from the left, hitting your neck and going over to the right side to him. So he's getting that whiff of this fragrance because you know, you gotta wear some fragrance around your neck area. Oh, and then he just pulls you in closer. So it's a very creamy, creamy, milky, kind of fragrance. It's got uh, sandback jasmine. It's got sandalwood. So um, yeah, which is perfect for like an autumn, you know, um, day. It's windy, it's, it's kind of cool outside. So yes, and it's cozy. It is an intimate scent, but it's also quite casual. So that is why I picture that sort of scenario with this fragrance. So you might sit by the park bench, you know, it's that um, chestnut cream. It's just, it's yummy, it's sweet, it's warm, it's creamy. Do you know what I mean? So that's the type of date I would picture this fragrance being, you know, at its best. So, uh, yes, <laughs> that's Zadig and Voltaire. This is her. Um, the male version is a little bit more spicy, but um, this is the female version, of course. The only version that I own. And um, yes, it does have a good sillage, but it's a more intimate sillage. It's not wider than um, one to two meters. And when you pass by someone, they'll be able to smell you very well, but it's not a, a scent that is too annoying unless you wear it in very, very hot weather. So yes, autumn would be great for this fragrance. A casual date um, by the seasides. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the seaside, but I'm just, saying the seaside because of that breeze, you know, that, that cool breeze and that nice stroll by the water. I don't know. I'm just spiking your imagination. <laughs> anyway, so yes, that's, uh, this is her by Zadig and Voltaire. So our next fragrance is Lanwit Trezor. This one right here with this diamond shaped bottle. This is a lovely black rose and lychee scent. Mm, sexy. You have a professional job. You're about 32 years and below. I'm just mentioning age just so you can picture a scenario. Do you know what I mean? You can get the details. <laughs> so yes. You have a professional job, let's say, or maybe you are a pharmacist, you know, you're single, you've been going on a couple of dates, but recently you have met a man that you like. 
starting to like. He has ticked all the boxes. So far, you've been on two dates together. He is a professional of some sort as well. Let's say he's a businessman, okay? Uh, you met through a mutual friend. He lives interstate. He had to fly in for this date that you have. And um, so let's say he's in business. He's He owns a construction business. And so flying in and out interstate is nothing. Let's forget about the virus going around. Let's just pretend it's not happening. So what fragrance would you wear? You know, you're, you're gonna dress very nice, but not overly sexy, you know, not too much cleavage or anything like that. Nothing too short, um, but definitely feminine, sexy, nice. Okay. So for that particular date, you would wear La Nuit Tresor. As I mentioned, this is your third date. You really like him. You're attracted to him. Um, and you know, he's attracted to you, but you know, it's, it's not going to go any further than that, but you want to smell really nice, alluring to a certain degree. You want to show that you are a quality woman with standards, but you know, sexy and fun as well. You know, so you want him to take you a little bit seriously. So that's a Lanwit Tresor date, okay? It is perfect for that scenario. It is a third date scent specifically because it is very sexy, you know, and you're not trying to be too sexy on the first or second date until you have decided you actually really like the guy and, you know, you're considering him as a boyfriend material and he's been ticking all the right boxes. You know, he has a stable career. He is a well-established person. He's a confident person. So of course, you know, he wants a, a feminine woman. He wants someone who's got her own life going on, who knows her worth. Um, yes. And can appreciate a manly man, Do you know? This is nice. That's definitely a Lanwit Tresor date. You know, you're by the balcony at night. Um, you're overlooking the ocean with the lights and the city lights on. It's just a lovely romantic scenario. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the bottle just suits that type of, you know, environment kind of description this is not a casual date you know this is we could be boyfriend and girlfriend tomorrow so like this is a nice 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 perfume for that type of date he's gonna order champagne for the both of you um he has great taste in champagne of course <laughs> and you're gonna have a three course meal. You are well versed with table etiquette. You're just classy. So this is a fragrance for you. So for the next fragrance, you are not single this time. <laughs> okay, this is a person in a relationship. Baccarat Rouge Faf 40 x -Tride. You and your significant other have been together for, you know, you're just new, but not new. Two, three years into your relationship. And, uh, you know, you regularly make love. <laughs> so on this night, you decide, let's say it's Friday, Saturday. Hmm. You decide you want to do a little bit more extra pampering of yourself. So gonna get in the shower you decide okay I'm gonna wash my hair since I'm talking to girls I think I can be a little bit more detailed um, your legs are smooth and all that your body is clean and all that but you know you want to be a bit extra so you decide to shave again and you you know you are glad that you got a manicure and a pedicure just the day before you decide to do your whole uh, face skincare routine so you do all those extra things that you don't get to do every single day because you're either busy or you're not in the mood. But this particular night, you just want to be a little bit 
you know, more detailed in your self-care. You decide, okay, you're not just gonna go with your ordinary body cream. Tonight you will wear your Baccarat Rouge 540 body cream and layer it with your uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 body oil. Um, and you put that oil on certain areas of your body um, that are more hot and, you know, produce more heat. Um, so you can get the most out of your oil. So on this particular night, you get a, a gown, okay? A nighty in this deep red, and it is either silk or satin, you know, that soft material. And you have a matching robe. So you put it over the top, but you don't tie it up. You leave it open. Um, <laughs> And then you are done with your self-care. You are clean and you know that tonight you and your partner are gonna be intimate, but you put in a little bit of extra work, okay? So this is the perfect fragrance for that type of situation. You just spray your Baccarat Rouge Extract because Extract is more intimate. It's more close to the skin. It's not like you're wearing some $200 perfume tonight. You are wearing a $1,000 perfume. So of course you've got to suit the, the perfume you're wearing, the scenario. You already know it's a special night because now you're bringing out the special scent, okay? The special bottles. And that is definitely a Baccarat Rouge 540 Extract version type of scenario okay let's continue your man partner is downstairs the tv's off um he's on the couch he's on the laptop you know maybe paying some bills or doing other things just before he decides to get up settle for bed and all that so you come downstairs barefoot with your open robe you know your short your little satin or um silk <laughs> Nighty in the deep red coming down the stairs and you just walk behind him of course you're heading for the kitchen you're just minding your own business okay <laughs> and you just walk by behind the couch headed for the kitchen to make yourself a cup of tea get a glass of wine whatever he smells you coming past and just admires you from behind because you're anyway you just pretend you're oblivious to <laughs> his sudden attention <laughs> obviously that laptop is gonna be closed and that's it for the night with work he is ready for you tonight you're getting extra attention you know all those great things it's definitely going to be a bit different it's a special night tonight so yes that's <laughs> baccarat rouge 540 extra it is oh it is so good <laughs> it is sweet it is quality Oh, it is seductive, but this is, this is take your time with me kind of seductive. You know, this is very, very intimate with someone you are um, very familiar with because they're really, really up and personal and they know all your secret places so yes that type of person in your life is the one that's gonna most appreciate this scent i don't think it's a one night stand kind of scent you know this is a i've pampered i've paid extra attention to my self-care and it's close to my skin so you're gonna take your time with um Worshipping me, basically. I hope that <laughs> makes sense. 
anyways that's it i hope you can go and just smell it and see if you agree with the types of scenarios that i am putting out to you what kind of scenarios would you picture someone wearing um, the baccarat rouge 540 egg stripe specifically the egg stripe because the other baccarat rouge the edp for me is an outdoor we're out and about kind of perfume because that sillage and it's very light and airy compared to this one this one is deeper seductive as you can see with the bottle imagine wearing a nighty in this color you know you know it's a it's a romantic scenario so the next fragrance is Mosque Ravageur from the Frederick Mao house. Um, this perfume was made by Maurice Roussel. And yes. This perfume is, to me, a raunchy, back alley, sexy romance type of scene this is not a fragrance you wear for other people it is a fragrance just for yourself and perhaps if the person you're with likes these types of fragrances as well and appreciates quality but it's not a friendly scent it's quite animalic ish and just Okay, let me set the scene for you. Oh goodness. <laughs> I want to explain this scenario, but I'm going to try and be a PG about it. Okay, so you walk into a room where people just, you know, a couple just made love. It's a cloud of heat spice sweat and juices it has that sweet um sweat kind of smell to it it has that body friction smell okay <laughs> i get that clove i get that cedar you know it's and that that spice from the cinnamon that's my initial um smell like that's what i detect at first so that's that body friction that skin rubbing kind of smell and sweat put together it is quite a strong fragrance the cloud of heat Okay, it's a warm, spicy fragrance. Friction of the body, you know, um, that cinnamon, clove, wood, the gaiac wood, yeah. Um, the cedar, kind of smoky wood, you know, vibe. Then I detect something nice in the background so like a like a floral or something so i'm thinking the couple probably had candles burning before they got busy you know so the candles probably had a nice you know uh, floral ambience so that could be the lavender and the bergamot that i'm smelling it is definitely a sexy scenario for me um it's not it's not anything else okay we are not outdoors in the beach at the beach you know just having a cocktail no no this is this is bedroom stuff for me so <laughs> yes if you have smelt this fragrance or um you own it or you go and smell it let me know if you picture that type of scenario with with the smell oh it's it's definitely like the aftermath of lovemaking 
it does smell a little bit like sweat but good sweat not yucky sweat this is attractive people's sweat that's what i i envision <laughs> with this fragrance so it's not an outgoing smell okay this is an acquired taste this is a person whose nose is familiar with all kinds of perfumes it's not a beginner friendly perfume at all at all so yes if you like animalic scents like leathery maybe animalic perfumes go ahead and try this um this is definitely if it's a man wearing this this is a masculine man in his behavior, I mean. I don't mean masculine as in necessarily bulgy muscles, no. Yes, he's in touch with his manhood. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. It's definitely a dirty scenario. Just raunchy, sexy. This is like, yeah those romance novels you read that's mosque ravageur from the frederick marle house um maurice roussel is the perfumer behind this masterpiece so yes that's it <laughs> let's move on to the next fragrance okay our next fragrance <laughs> is Oud Satin Mood. Goodness, I'm so excited to talk about these perfumes. Mm. So, Oud Satin Mood, okay. A Maison Francis Kirkjean fragrance again in the EDP. So it's not the extra, it's the EDP. Oh, quality sexiness. Let me lay out a scenario, okay? Mm. Okay, this is a quality fragrance. It's got agar wood, which is like an oud, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, you know, expensive, expensive ingredients. Okay, benzoin, vanilla. Okay, so I think you're starting to get the vibe. So it's a romantic perfume, all those roses and all that. I mean, you can wear it in any other scenario, but for me, it is a romantic perfume, okay? So, what type of scenario are we picturing with this one? Okay, so you have been on point with all your laser appointments. You have a date with a guy who you really enjoy spending time with. You have been on several dates already. You're practically in a relationship now, but he's the type of person that just makes your blood boil in the nicest possible way, <laughs> not in the bad way. He excites you. you, you shiver with excitement in his presence, okay? He's just your type, like you cannot believe your luck in having him as, you know, as your date tonight. You are wearing a silk green dress it's got like a bit of like cleavage because it's a wrap dress, specifically a wrap dress. And, you know, it ties at the waist. It's got a slit on the side and you're wearing heels. Okay, specifically black velvet red bottoms, so Kate's. And, you know, you've got your hair done nice on the side, you know, light curls. You really are dressing to impress, okay, to impress yourself so you can have that confidence while you're with him and know that you look good. But you're also dressing for him because you know he'll appreciate you in silk. Like, you know what I mean? 
so I, i'm wondering if i should have brought some you know examples like from my wardrobe to show you <laughs> that this is stuff that i would wear at that type of date let me go get the dress and the shoes all right so i quickly went and grabbed one of my <laughs> dresses this is a silk wrap dress that I have not yet worn but I plan on wearing now that I have oud satin mood um, but yes as you can see it has the wrap and open here that's what I was describing to you with these red bottoms in black so yes that's that's our outfit so that violet vanilla all the different roses they just you know bring out the quality in this fragrance the romance yes and the duck juice just goes well with the outfit i just showed you so anyway let's continue with our little scenario so you have been on point on laser performance we mentioned that so you're well prepared for whatever the night turns out as and you're feeling good you're feeling sexy you're feeling bold and excited so obviously you know with the silk dress you don't really wear underwear that stands out or anything like that you're gonna be going to all the luxurious places so because you know the type of date you're going on it's a special special date so you need to dress the part and you don't want to look underdressed for the type of restaurant he would take you to and you'll be drinking wine you know just that type of scenario you know he probably booked a private room in a restaurant reservations the whole thing like this is this is quality luxury okay so yes oud satin mood lovely that's the scenario a picture would be perfect for this perfume and it's like dark and blue it's lovely last but definitely not least we have dior addict this is a very popular fragrance and people love it but i think it is underappreciated or, or worn in in too casual situations i think people just take it too lightly it's actually a very seductive sexy vanilla so you could really use this on a very very nice date it's got um, mulberry flowers um mandarin leaves bulgarian rolls with the bourbon vanilla give it this like rosy deep vanilla boozy smell oh it is so good tonka bean vanilla but i love that bourbon vanilla there mm. anyways so scenarios i will try and insert a picture of me wearing something that you know would suit this perfume for a date i'm thinking a body hugging dress maybe a blue yeah uh, it's a nighttime date you're only mainly going to be sitting down just looking nice okay you're in the city center hotel building that has all glass windows you're on the top floor this is i'm talking about like two three million dollar apartment okay i'm not i'm not just talking about regular apartments it has a nice view of the city lights and you know um let's say the ocean then the city lights behind the ocean you go through you open the doors the wide doors the glass doors to the balcony you're looking over the balcony and your date your man is pouring you a glass of red wine in the kitchen over there whatever but yes it's that type of scenario a very elegant a very sexy romantic um 
nighttime a bit of ocean view you know city lights it is close to the skin it is seductive it is a grown-up sexy vanilla um definitely great quality <laughs> even for the price it's actually a really good price i picture this fragrance being good for like even a niche luxury fragrance house but luckily for us dior <laughs> you know, blessed us with this fragrance at a good price. Mm. You're just elegant, okay? As you can see, the bottle really just tells you the story in itself, you know, elegant, sleek, beautiful blue, deep, romantic, nighttime type of vibe. I love that, um, Inside it says Dior Addict. Yeah. This is so sexy on your clothes and on your skin. That boozy vanilla on your skin with the body heat and your natural scent or on your clothes, just, it's gonna be lovely, sensual, intimate. You know, you're, yeah, love it. Anyways, yes, that's Dior Addict. All right, so now we're at the end of this video. Please let me know in the comments section which of these fragrances you're most likely to wear and feel free to describe the scenarios um, and which one, which scenario did you like the most? I mean, some of them got a bit, you know, explicit, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want a part two of other fragrances because there are many fragrances that we could wear on different types of dates. And yeah, we can keep this going. Um, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, yes. And I will see you in my next video. Go ahead and check out the others if you have not already. Take care until then. Bye.